I'm here with KP Anderson, the executive producer of The Soup, and Jeremy Garlick, the director and writer of uh, The Wedding Ringer that you should see starting tonight. Have you guys heard of, uh, what's the kid's name from uh, from Oklahoma, 12 year old? Cade Pope. Cade, Cade Pope. Have you heard about this 12 year old kid? No. He wrote to NFL teams saying, I live in Oklahoma, I have no team here. Tell me, you know, why I should be a, a, a fan of your team. And there was a local news uh, uh, station that did a report on him. Take a look. Hmm. Hello, my name is Cade Pope. I'm 12 years old and live in Yukon, Oklahoma. I'm writing to you and all of the other NFL teams to ask why I should choose your team to become my team. Thursday, Cade got a package. Inside was this replica Carolina Panthers helmet, but also this handwritten note from Panthers owner and founder, Jerry Richardson. How cool is that, right? That yeah, is his really dad's probably cool. going, thank you, Jacksonville, for not writing back. Thank you. <laughs> well, hold, hold on a second, KP. And we showed this on yesterday's program. There are teams that are jumping in late. It's a oh, copycat league. Yeah. It's a cutthroat league. We showed some uh, about six or seven teams that have since chimed in. Six more have chimed in. Yeah. The Chicago Bears. Well, actually, they chimed in yesterday with an 8 by 10 of Jay Cutler not carrying. Now they're saying <laughs> four five by 7s of that. There's a recruiting process. Autographed, yeah. yes. right? Yeah. Uh, here's another response. Uh, the Broncos sent a shoebox full of business cards reading John Fox, head coach. <laughs> That's the response by the Broncos. Let's see some more responses here. Uh, the Jets. Geno Smith buys ticket for any PG-13 movie of our, his choice. Our, our movie. Well, I mean, yeah, he's 12. He's 12. Oh, okay. We don't want to go full, you know. <laughs> and Geno doesn't want to take him and go. So. Yeah, well, Geno yeah. would be the guardian. Yeah. He'd be the guardian for the PG-13. <laughs> um, the Patriots will give him the full answer key for the 2019 SAT. That's, yeah. That's pretty yeah. good. How do they have that? They how have do they have everything. that? They have ways, That's the Patriots. That's just how we roll, Rich. Because Belichick is. They're cut, they're cutting edge. We got Christopher. We cracked Enigma. We're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's one last one, I believe. Uh, oh, there's a couple more. Cowboys. A 12-story bouncy house with giant LED screen, retractable roof, and a monster lighting system. That's the way Jerry Jones rolls. Yeah. And then uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, 71 annual lessons in the futility of life. <laughs> 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 That's, the, that's what's happening. KP uh, Anderson, the uh, executive producer of The Soup, joining us for this conversation. Good to see you, bud. Thank you, sir. So sorry I'm late. Don't worry. The 405 is a, is a yeah. fickle beast. It's the Waze app. I think it took me on a tour. It wanted me prepared, so it took me to every possible site that Did the really? NFL might put a stadium <laughs> in Los right? Angeles. Well, yeah. it might. <laughs> I was in Carson, and then I was in Inglewood just standing wow. in a parking lot. So in other words, you're saying Stan Kroenke is in charge of the Waze app. I think so. Which you can't put out of, his, you can't put yeah. out of the way. Stan yeah. Kroenke's in charge of everything until he says different at this <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. I've learned that. Uh, Jeremy Garlick, the uh, the director and writer of The Wedding Ringer that's in theaters tonight, has been with us uh, for about a half an hour now. And um, I know you're a Jet fan. I'm a big Jets fan. And you're yes. a Vikings fan, right, KP? Yep. Yep. A lot of futility sitting on this couch right now. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> is, that why this, is that why the set is suddenly tilting? Yes. Yeah. I write? <laughs> okay. Yep, I'm going to start writing letters to teams. Well, um, there, Tom Brady, uh, as we all know, three Super Bowl rings. Jet fans know yeah. that very well. Uh, Ray Lewis gave a very interesting theory as to what he's known for. He did this on the radio. Roll tape. Roll tape. The first time we created something called a tuck rule is the only reason we know, I'm just being honest, the only reason we know who Tom Brady is because of a tuck rule. There's no such thing as a tuck rule. If the ball is in your hand and I knock it out your hand, whether it's going backwards, forward, lateral, sideways, however it's coming out, that's a freaking fumble. But guess what we created? We created a freaking tuck rule. All of these new rules, I'm telling you, and, and listen, it's their game. So they're going to run it the way they want to run it because they run it and they pay for it and all of this. But, man, there are, there are certain rules that should not be allowed to be in this game of football. They don't go to that championship game. They don't go to that championship game if that tuck rule, if that ball is, not, is, is called a tuck. That's a fumble. Charles Wilson made that man clearly fumble the ball, and they named it a tuck rule, something that we've never heard in today's game. So now you got to ask yourself, when did the legacy really start? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, well. I got to be honest. Um, if yeah. if I, I have to take Ray Lewis' side here just in case I run into him or Tom Brady, I feel yeah. like I can – Yeah. I stand more of a chance against Tom Brady yeah. than Ray Lewis. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, we all have – 
breaks in our lives. Yes. With which we then, to continue the sports analogy, run with the ball. Yeah. Right. Yes. I mean, so yeah. let's. Yeah. Let's I think pump the brakes yeah, a little bit. If it bit weren't on for that. the plead to a lesser charge rule, then oh, maybe Ray's legacy oh, wouldn't be what it's supposed to be. But you went there. <laughs> I did go there. I it it and I watch Ray on the mothership, and I see Ray talking and I wonder sometimes what he's doing there. And I understand that players come out of the league mm -hmm. and they have to, you know, if they're going to be in, in this field of things, they have to be sometimes a little bombastic. They have to be a little bit bigger than life in their opinions. And sometimes, uh, and we, we find it refreshing when you hear some sort of truth we didn't think of ourselves. Mm -hmm. But it should have just a little, little bit of sanity nougat inside of it that makes some sense to what he's saying. <laughs> a lot of times you think that ESPN just found some guy yelling at a wall and put him on TV. Well, but you know, Ray, Ray, by the way, I love the, um, uh, that might be the name of my fantasy team next year, Sanity Nougat. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like that. I don't know what the, the avatar would be, uh, mm -hmm. a Sanity Nougat. But listen, I mean, the tuck rule is an abomination, and it is now out. It was in, nobody had ever heard of it until that happened. Mm -hmm. And that's the break that the Patriots needed yeah. Obviously, they still had to beat the greatest show on turf. They still had to go on and win an AFC championship game in Pittsburgh with Tom Brady injured. Drew yeah. Bledsoe finished that game. I mean, yeah. I don't even know why we're, we're going over this ground again. Well, to be because, very honest. Because, because, well, it's because it's somebody like Ray Lewis yeah. with his Super Bowl ring and a future first ballot Hall of Famer going ahead and saying that. Yeah, and he, and I mean, uh, uh, such an amazing player, but I just kind of feel like the, the, the strange sour grapes that. You know that 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 comes with that. Right. When when Ray's team, the Ravens, has had more than its fair share of success against a team that it's hard to have any success against. Um, um, I don't understand why that shot's taken at Brady. You can say the Tuck rule is a dumb rule, but his legacy is in question because of because of one call in I, one game. I, I agree with you on that. Yeah. That makes I'm gonna have to. Me. I'm gonna have to disagree. I, I dislike Attaboy, everything about uh, Dom Brady. I, I don't think yeah. he's handsome. I don't think he's a what? good quarterback. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just saying, I think Ray Lewis is right on all fronts here. I get his back. Yeah, he married down. Don't yeah, forget about marrying down, down yes, he for did. Tom Brady. He did. He married down. Yep. I think what we learned is I'm less afraid to fight Ray Lewis than you. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, how, how long would that fight last, KP? Uh, long as long last? as it took me to find the nearest exit. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny that you'd say that. Would you need the Waze app for that? Is yeah, the exactly. Yeah, the Stan Kroenke's Ray Waze just app. beat me up, Stan Kroenke. So uh, yeah. I've got about a minute left in this segment um where how do you see the super bowl who goes to the super bowl based off of this sunday's games uh as much as i don't like to say it i think and i'm not a huge pats fan i i, I think uh i think it's going to be pats uh pats seahawks mm -hmm. um um the vikings fan of me i guess gets a little pitter patter in his heart thinking of green bay losing mm -hmm. um but i also work on a daily basis with joel McHale, and yeah. i had to listen for almost a year to the seahawks and how great they are right and how perfect his franchise is and uh, he never can just stop there. He has to then compare and contrast against the Vikings at all corners. <laughs> and so uh, I would take a Packer win, I think. But I think it's going to be I think it's going to be Seahawks Pats. What do you think, Jeremy? I think it's going to be uh, Pats Packers. Packers going to win 32-28. There you go. You're giving me the whole thing. That's wow. what I think. Hey, uh, Jeremy, thank you for coming on this program. It was an honor. The Wedding Ringer. The Wedding tonight. Ringer. Tonight, Kevin Hart, Josh Gad, Kaylee Cuoco, Jeffrey Ross, Whitney Cummings, Ken Howard, and Joe Namath, Ed Tutal Jones, John Riggins, star. Wow. Yeah. Namath. Joe Namath. You're Jed Homer, man. I you. know, man. It was a dream come true. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. It's Joe freaking Namath. It was the best. Good to see you. Would you stay for one more segment? Absolutely. Be Good. happy to. Good. Great. Jeremy, thanks Thank for coming on. Thank you so on. much. You bet, man. Good to see you. Good to see Jeremy you. Jeremy Garlic. Go see his movie Thank tonight. You, the Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.